All right, so I'm streaming this thing. I need to use the bathroom. I have two minutes, but Cruiser doesn't understand, you know. Anyway, here we go. Uh, score is 3-1 or something like that for Marco. Marco versus Cruiser here. Cruiser's bottom right, Marco's top left. Go with four docks to scout. And it's laggy. <laughs> he attracted him out with a dog. If I rewatch the stream, I can catch if he built that dog to pull the other dog or if he just uh, had one running by. All right, Cruz is going for the gems in the middle. Marco has an IFB. He doesn't even have an air force command, so I don't know why he has IFBs. Maybe he's going to go distract or something around the other side. We'll see. All right, Cruiser got some tanks pushing up. Marco, yeah, is going with some IFBs to distract down on the other side. He's got some tanks coming, too. Using it to defend. There goes the IFBs. There's a defense. Oh, and he sees. These there to defend, but cruiser's tanks are dying. I think that's the second tank. Marco lost his IFBs. Looking at four miners versus three. Marco looks like he has the upper hand so far. He has the tanks and the minor advantage. Cruiser does have these gems though, so I guess it's kind of even in miners. Well, not really, because this miner is doing nothing. That miner is doing nothing. Still got a useless miner up there. This is almost done. He needs to get a refinery over here. Or things will be bad for him. Marco's coming around that side. Cruiser now sees it. Rather's Rocketeer is back also. these there and these rockets were there probably just didn't notice I know all about that <laughs> alright three okay there you go defense immediate repair that was nice Marco's defending cruiser's attacking up here it's good defense by cruiser on those rocketeers by Marco cruiser sent his Rocketeers down here, but they'll be really good right here. No anti-air for Marco in this spot. Looks. Oh, he's a get the kid. He got those with the tanks, maybe. Nice. Oh, okay, but Marco still came out on top on that fight. You know, Cruiser had the big rocket advantage. Hmm. These Rocketeers are helping out a lot. 
Who's got? Oh, he has some tanks left, but he sent them too early. He didn't group his tanks first. So I think this is the last game. So if Marco comes out with this one, which it looks so far like he might, but we don't know. If Marco comes out with this one, um, I think that'll be the end of the series. I only caught the last game, I guess. I just saw them waiting in the lobby for a while and then I joined and decided to stream for him. Marco's war, and it looks like it's done. Well, few Rocketeers died. I don't know. Yeah, it's looking favorable for Marco. I power up there. See what happens. Marco sees it. It's too late. Go for that war factory. He needs to build his own war factory. Right now he has three tanks and Marco is going to be producing. He's got a bit of money so his tanks should be coming out. And two war factories but Cruiser doesn't have any. And he doesn't have that much money to say when he gets his buildings up that things would be smooth. He's got a bunch of miners mining nothing over here. Distance mining, if anything. He thinks he does, but he decides to fight instead of to treat and use his rocketeers. He looks like he's coming out on top in this fight, but damage tanks in the process. Alright, Cruiser's got his War Factory back up. You saw that para finally. Marco forgot about that one. He's got his own up there. Ooh. These Rocketeers. Destroying that economy of Cruisers back down to zero again. And that was his hope for getting some money and getting back in this game. Marco's still chilling up in his base. He finally decides to expand. I'm just going to talk about that because that's what I tend to do. I'm always on the offensive, fighting, 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 and then I forget to actually like move my MCV and get more refineries up. Then halfway through the game comes, and I look, and I'm broke. And then I die. It's one of the big things about 1v1 versus 2v2 that I think I need to work on as a player because I, only, I pretty much play 2v2, and you pretty much stick to your corner of the map. You don't really do this kind of expansion in 2v2, so I always forget to do it. Lost a few IFVs there. Those were useful against those. He had four of them. He lost the veteran IFV. Unless that was this one I saw. My bad. It's another one. And here come the... He rebuilt some IFVs, but those are so low health. Rock was just going for that refinery, and then he's going to get out of there. Did it again. Oh. He has some tanks there. This looks like it's just too much. And Marco definitely saw that now because he just stole that refinery. Probably looking for power. So many refineries up still. Mm -hmm. He sees that now because I know he just placed that there. It's one of the big reasons why um, a lot of the top ally players really recommend not dropping your power drop in the middle of someone's base. Unless there really is a ridiculous amount of stuff going on, like you kind of want to drop it away pretty much where they're not going to be looking because player scrolls over here, they only have that short time that they're scrolling to see it, especially if they come into place a building here. The para can go. They can be looking at your base, but if you drop it in their base, like there's chances they're going to look in their own base. You know, they got to grab their units, place buildings. Hard to notice, like if you place a para drop over here and walk up. So Marco is just building up, making sure he gets enough units. Cruiser is holding on. He moved his MFB, okay, cool. I was gonna say he ran out of ore over here too. Moved his MFB to get some more money. Oh, Marco got a leap. And he didn't notice and lost it. <laughs> nice move by Cruiser to catch it. Ooh, and 
Cruiser has a lead, but he's drove it right into Marco's units. Oh no, don't lose that lead. I can save you the game. All right, so at this point, I can say honestly it could be anybody's game because this elite IFV is going to be so hard to deal with as ally, especially. Soviet, you can just make a drone and try to deal with it. So Marco might be regretting not just killing Cruiser when he had the chance and trying to cripple him by killing that refinery over and over, but Cruiser's back on his feet with an elite IFV, and that's uh, dangerous. Here it is. He better not lose it. Marco's attacking, knowing that he wants to use this elite IV and doesn't want to stay on the defense. There it is. Marco's got three more wars over here. Oh my God. He definitely sees it now. Look at that. Cruiser's going for all the important buildings, war factories. Air Force Command is probably the most important because planes, I think, are the best way to kill elite IVs. Oh, but he brought his back. Okay. Probably TT these. Now he's in there. Ooh, he saved it. Meanwhile, little Marco is just tearing through Cruiser's base. Cruiser needs to get over here and defend that side. His elite IV is still here. Moves his MCV. Doesn't want to lose it because he knows he has that advantage in terms of units because of his elite IV, which I hope is still alive. Where is it? He might have just lost it. He might have just lost it to these tanks. That is so funny. Oh, but he is still up in tanks and rocketeers. Look at this. Through all that, he's got a big advantage here. But Marco has 20,000. Cruz has 12,000. This game has... They both got lazy. Well, Marco got lazy and Cruiser kept fighting. And now look at the position. Two war factories for Marco. One for Cruiser. Still has his MCV. But Marco has all that money. But the rocket advantage is for Cruiser. Big time. He's going right in knowing that. He knows he can't wait. Especially because of all that time he lost. And looks like Cruz is going to take this one. That elite IP really opened things up. Nice. That is 3-2. to two. Favor of Marco. Who's saying what? Oh, people are here watching. That's funny. Gunman lags now? What are you talking about, bro? I'm here streaming, and you're watching my stream and saying I lag. Are you stupid? How do you not know? Um, anyway, I gotta change the score. Arctic Circle. Cruiser top right, Marco bottom left. Hmm. We didn't even play this map in 2v2, 3v3, 4v4. And they're playing it 1v1. Interesting. I like this map. Gems there, gems there. And then these things. I wonder how people played in 1v1. Let's find out. OK. 
Okay, I wonder if they're gonna be eating. Probably. A map like this, you can't not eat. You must eat. Hmm. Cruiser stopped that dog. There's another one there. Marco's secured that oil. Let's see if he puts his dog here to get that one. I guess Marco's letting him have that. <laughs> I'm taking that for himself. So Marco decided to go right for the island. And Cruiser has made some units and is fighting instead. He's probably going to... I don't know. Maybe he's going to try to take out some oils. Maybe take some oils from him. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, so Marco has one island. I don't know. Did he put five engineers in there? Well, Cruiser has the advantage in tanks and all that, but he's not f attacking. So I don't know what the point of making all the tanks were was if he's not going to use them, you know? Right now, it just looks like Marco's going to have the superior economy. Right now, he does. And it's, like, going to continue. Cruiser doesn't do something soon. Now he's going to go take his island. Where did I hear that? There it is. He's still there. He'd run out of money for a minute. Now, Marco has two war factories. Looks like he's kind of evened up the tanks pretty much now. Yeah, five and five, yeah. I don't know, he's gonna be ahead soon. Marco's pressing. Advantage of Rocketeers. Mm. Dang. They're both building up tanks, but Marco's economy is just better. Here he goes. I don't think it's been seen, unless he has a Patriot or something. Just a scout, I guess. Alright, that pair should get some stuff. He didn't remember it. He's gonna die here. There go Marco's Rocketeers. Cruisers are here getting killed. But, I don't know if he remembers them. If these are here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of last Rocketeers there. Almost, but not quite evened it up. And he's losing his IFVs. One IFV. Oh. Big oil kill for Marco right there. And cruisers. Marco's just building up the tanks and just chilling using his Rocketeers. Because he's had that Rocketeer advantage for a lot of the games, so he's been using that. Picking off things as he goes. And just building up his tanks and making sure he stays alive. He is now teched. Cruiser is not teched yet. This, this tank count looks crazy compared to this. Marco's really using all the oils and everything to his advantage and wipe that out. And he captured this way earlier than Cruiser captured his. Let's look at a minor count. Five there. Six for Marco. One. One. One, one. Four for Cruiser. Yeah. I think Cruiser sees that Marco is teched and he knows it's time to attack. But I think, yeah, I think Marco just had way too many tanks. Like... Way too many. Alright, 
four to two for Marco. I wish I got all the games, but just two of them. Um, one win for Cruiser, one win for Marco. Good games, guys.